got ready to fit the dry fit the pieces that we cut yesterday before we measure and put the knee braces in okay we're on our last step right now of getting the tenon finished for its first dry fit and because we use the makita mortiser the bottom of this chain here is round so instead of chiseling out the corner of those pockets we cut a relief round in our tenon we just sand And then I just lightly sand our tenon so everything is smooth. I slightly bevel the edge here. It just helps it fit together. And that's it. It's ready to be wet. Want to lay it down and roll it flat? We're fixing the braces so that when we put this in place, it's level for us to slide the tabs in. That's looking good. I got you. I'm going to swing back. Yeah. Booming down. Yeah. Oh. Rope down. Another four inches probably. I think we can... To you. There we go. Got it. There he is. So we're dry fit. And there you go, everybody. Nice. <laughs> Slid in perfect because we've checked all our gauges. The two beams run in perfect. Let's grab the level. That's what happens when you check and double check. You're actually good. Pretty good. in. You're actually perfect now. Perfect. Point is rotated now. You can just flip, yep. flip it on its side. Yep. Perfect. Got it. Gonna swing. Right there. Down? Yeah, down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> it's snug. <laughs> I want to go. I we might be a little bit tight. All right, we're gonna actually pull this out and just shave it down just a, a little bit. We, we actually needed to sand it. Okay. Grab the sander. Okay, we're gonna check it again. Oh, nice. All right, let me get this brace. <clears throat> Okay. <coughs> Was it gonna go down? Yeah, I, huh? Let me see where we're at. We might need to just tap it in. We're really good. Really good. Lucky we have scraps of wood everywhere for blocks. I think the tab, the tab might be even the hair. We're going to pull it out again real quick.
really should not be the issue. Okay. Let me, uh, can you see that new chisel we got? I can actually see right here where it's still a little thick and it's not letting me go here. And for Christmas, I bought this Robert Sorby new chisel here just for this purpose. Almost like it was sanded. I'm going to do the other side as well. Very sharp. Very sharp. <laughs> Very sharp. I'm glad we got that. To me. Oh, there we go. And this is what we did. We, we jumped the gun and didn't get the pocket clean. And any of the debris in the bottom is holding out our tab from setting. And there we go when we squeeze this together. That's going to fit perfect. Okay, so now we've drive fit the actual frame itself and we've bound it together with a come along to where we know exactly where we want it in place. We also strap the bottom, make sure that everything is perfectly square. So right now Jason's setting over there to drill the pins for the actual beam, which has the pocket here. I'm gonna mark these couple out so he can come over and do that. Now since we cut all of our timbers here, we actually fit each individual piece and cut to that piece since we might have a slight variation since we're not buying dried planed timber and we use nominal numbers like our eight by eights are eight or seven and seven eights is what they come out to be once we're finished planing. Let me shut this down. And then he's gonna give this a run right here. We're using the smooth, ultra smooth cut wood owl bit. This one happens to be a little bit older and we plunged a lot of holes with it. With this Mephel holder and Nikita drill, this is a must for any timber framer. Your holes just come out perfect every time was able to purchase all of that whole setup there from timber wolf tools is where we get a lot of our timber framing equipment blades and advice so while he's finishing up those holes I'm going to show you how we fit a knee brace now since we make all of our knee braces here they might be individually slightly different especially when we're routering or routing in the pocket so i take me one of my knee braces over here put it in place where she fits Then I'll actually check 
by measurements, 29 and a quarter. This one is slightly at 29. And we're actually looking for 29 and an eighth, so everything is exactly symmetrical. What I do at this point is I trace exactly where my tenon needs to go in. Because we're marking out for the mortise pocket right now. Now you need to remember that we're routering in a 3 8 inch deep shoulder. So it's imperative that both of these marks move in the 3 8 before you start your pocket. So that your end is tight in there. 3 8 there. And that's actually where I'm going to start my square mark to cut our mortise. I already know that these are nine and a half, but you need to measure the actual tongue where the whole mortise needs to fit in. I mark over my nine and a half. I mark over my nine and a half. And between here and here is going to be the actual pocket that we're going to mortise. Now after Jason finishes drilling all the holes and we put temporary pegs in there and mark out the other side, we're going to take everything apart again. We're going to mark the center for the mortises. We're going to mortise the holes and then we're going to dry fit everything back together using the original peg holes from the beginning. Okay, we have everything marked where we need to put our mortises. These are actually the marks I made the other day for where the joists are going to go in. Now we're going to take this apart one more time. We'll do it when we're done. Ready? Mm-hmm. You see how tight our joints are. All right, we're loose. Want to rotate? your head okay we're gonna make the final mortise cuts in and then we're gonna dry fit together everything one more time with the knee braces drill in all of the pegs and she's assembled okay so after we've mortised in all of the knee braces we have now re dry fit everything <clears throat> as you can see our cuts are perfect Everything's pinned because we drilled it on the first time and Jay's already hard at it getting the pegs put into the knee braces. Now we set everything back up. We've tied everything here together so that it stays perfectly square where we want it. And that's the whole frame structure of the outside portion of the deck. Mm -hmm.